Uh, Hi, and welcome back to It Figures. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing two Amiibo figures for you. And they come from the brand new game from the Switch called Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the first one is Link Archer, and the second one is going to be Link Rider. So let's take a look at Link Archer first. It's been a while since I've opened up any Amiibos, especially brand new ones that just came out within the last week. Now the big difference between this and all the other Amiibos that I have is I will actually be able to use this in my game that I have. I have Zelda Breath of the Wild, I have the Switch, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this actually works in game. Because apparently with this Amiibo, I can score rare weapons to help me on my adventure. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this Link Archer and take a closer look at him. So like I said, it's been a while since I have reviewed any of these Amiibos and I had just forgotten how awesome these things are. For such a small figure, it has so much great detail in it. So I haven't gotten this far in the game yet to where Link has this amazing bow, or maybe this is the bow that you get with the Amiibo uh, download or something, I don't know, but it's a really cool looking bow. Not to mention the outfit Link is wearing as well, I don't have that either. And what you don't get to see in the package is the back of him, which is really, really impressive. Check this out. Look at all the details on his shield, it's so cool. And he also has a sword which actually is behind the shield and it comes out the other side. Look at all the crazy details on his quiver as well, it's very brightly colored really just like I said fantastic and if you haven't played the game he does have this little device that he gets in the very beginning of the game and again check out the details and the paint job on that that's hanging from his belt it looks just like the game you can see the wooden detail on the inside of his shield and the continuation of the sword that goes all the way through there and the actual straps that's holding it on the base itself is the Zelda symbol and it's sort of like a whiff of smoke that's coming up that he's standing on, I guess, to um, make that pose, which is kind of cool rather than having, you know, that clear plastic thing that's on a lot of these figures. I mean, the pose here is also fantastic. He has one hand pulled back, ready to release the bow, the other hand holding onto the bow with one finger pointed forward. It looks like he's about to release that arrow at any second. So the thing about these Amiibo figures is when they're in a package and you walk past them at a store, you look at them and you're like, oh, eh, that's kind of cool. But when you actually get them out and just start looking at all the crazy amount of detail on this thing, it just blows your mind. It's that good. So let's move on to Link Rider. All right, so this is the first Amiibo horse that I actually own. And it's once again Link, and this time he's actually shrouded in mystery. He has a hood on and he's actually holding his sword this time. This is a very strange sculpt of Link because he's there, but he's not really there. I mean, the hood is covering his face, obviously, and the sculpt is there, but you can just barely see that it's somebody under the hood. And, I mean, you would not know it was Link unless you knew, you know, this is from Zelda. So, yeah, it's a very strange sculpt of his face. Not that it's a bad sculpt, it's just kind of a weird, mysterious sculpt, and I kind of like it. Like I said, this time he's actually holding his sword, and it's soft rubber, it's not hard plastic or anything. On the other side, he has his shield once again, and he has some sort of clothes or cloak or something here, wrapped up behind him. And like the other figure, he also has the device stuck on his belt from the game. And he kind of has his cape this time, and again, a really great design here on the cape. Fantastic paint, and the cape seems to be flowing out behind him as the horse is rearing up. And once again, the paint here is pretty much flawless. It's really amazing. Like you have the saddle bag here. It's a brown saddle bag with an orange hook on it. Again, they could have just made it all one color, but with that orange hook on it, it looks really great. So the horse's mouth actually is open, and he even has a tongue, and it's painted. And just like the other figure, the base is exactly the same with the Zelda symbol, but this time it has a very large plastic piece holding up the horse. I would have liked to seen something a little bit different holding the horse up. Maybe try to disguise it a little bit more like they did with the last Link. So it's not as obvious. You know, it's just something you're just going to have to live with. So both of these are outstanding sculpts. Absolutely great. Pretty much gets me excited all over again on how great these Amiibos actually are. 
And like I said, this is the first time I will ever actually be able to use one of these Amiibos in game. So I'll be excited to see what they do. So if you were excited about this review and want to see more reviews like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time.